So Pat, how would I work out my borrowing capacity when refinancing? Yep, good question. Um, it's all about income. Most of the people we're dealing with at the moment have got equity. So you've got your loan and then you've got the value of your property. So with people buying properties and the growth in Brisbane at the moment, there's been equity there. But the main thing that we're finding is obviously how how much income people have got to be able to cover their loans and, and living expenses and stuff like that. So in terms of borrowing capacity, that's what we do. Um, so we'll get across your numbers in terms of your incomes, the type of income that you've got, or how regular it is. Um, uh, things like family tax A and B as well can come into account in terms of income as well. Um, and um, then we look at what your expenses are. So standard living expenses is something that the banks look at. Um, so if you have a family of four, two adults, two children, you've got more expenses to cover than potentially a single person in terms of how much it costs them to run their household. Um, and then we look at things like uh, what debts are going to remain. Like if you're going to pay out a credit card, are you going to keep the credit card in the mix? Um, what other loans have you got? Uh, HEX or HELP debt makes a big difference to people's income and how much they've actually got left over after they pay that because it comes out of their pay every fortnight. Um, uh, people with REM serve and salary sacrificing, that makes a big difference too to how much people can actually borrow. Um, and the term of the loan that you might be looking at as well. So you might have a 20 year loan, obviously you can borrow a little bit less at 20 years. If you go to 30 years, you can borrow a bit more. Um, but you know, that's not ideal. Some people need to go out to 30 years though, just to get through um, kids at private school or, or something like that, just short term type stuff. And then they can accelerate their payments later on. So the best thing to do, I guess, to, to work out your borrowing capacity is have a call with one of our brokers and get across that. Um, and then that way we know what we can do uh, to assist you moving forward. So when you do that, will you actually tell us how much we can borrow based on your expenses? Yes, so we'll take into account what you think runs your family um, in terms of your costs, and then uh, we'll run that through our calculators, and that will determine um, how much you can actually get access to uh, okay. to be able to sort of move forward um, knowing what your loan balances are and, and how much you actually do need. Um, some people can't refinance because they don't have the income at the moment because uh, they do use an assessment rate. So if the rate's 6%, the bank's assessing it at 9%, so it does actually give a false sort of like um, reading on how much people can actually feel like they can borrow. Um, but the bank wants to make sure that if the rates go up, that uh, you, you're still going to be comfortable. Mm. So um, yeah. Kind of like when you do your budget until you put all the numbers onto a paper, you don't realize. Yeah, that's right. When you are spending. Yep. So people do a budget, but when they actually go through their line by line entries and their bank statements and they see the tap and go and stuff like that, um, mm. FPOS and all the stuff that you get for the kids that you know add up over the weekend and then you look at your bank statement on Monday and it's like, wow, that was a bit. Um, but obviously people do reduce how much they need to spend in order to get a home loan or refinance if they need to. So there is discretionary spending and we can take that into account. Okay, that's good to know. All right, talk to you soon.